Hey everybody, it's Jameson again, and this is going to be my White Dwarf rant video, where I'm going to talk about the magazine White Dwarf, put out by Games Workshop. Now, my first introduction to White Dwarf was back in the, the 80s. Uh, I was into D&D, I went to the game store, I saw the book for uh, fantasy, uh, Warhammer Fantasy role playing, I bought that. I saw the White Dwarf magazines in the store, and so I decided to buy one. So the very first one I bought was this one. Uh, this is... Uh, I can't read. I don't have my glasses. 19... September... Issue 93? Boy, I need glasses bad. But this is the one where they introduced 40K. So this was my first introduction to White Dwarf. And... Very different magazine back then. Here's uh, articles on uh, role playing. There's book reviews for novels. There were some uh, comics strips in here. Uh, all sorts of stuff. So I only got a couple issues of this back in the day, and for whatever reason, you know, I, I didn't get any more. But I was familiar with the magazine. So fast forward uh, into the late 90s. I was in a game store and I saw White Dwarf again and I picked one up and it was a far different magazine by that point. I didn't buy it because I wasn't into any kind of a hobby at the time. So in the early 2000s, 2002-ish, 2001, 2002, somewhere around there, I decided I was going to get into the whole Warhammer thing. I talked with some friends online and they're like, I have so many points of this and I've got so many points of that. I'm like, this is something I want to get into. So I went to the store and bought the third edition starter set. And uh, I didn't do anything with it, which I've detailed in other videos. But uh, I bought it. I bought some paints, you know, and I started to paint one little figure. And But I didn't get any White Dwarf magazines at the time. Uh, you know, I got that stuff. I worked on it like one night. And, and then I put it aside. And uh, then when we moved into this house in 2004, I set this desk up thinking that I was going to be painting some miniatures because I still wanted to get into, into Warhammer but for whatever reason I never did so the years went by and it wasn't until 2009 no 2000 2011 thought it was uh, thought it was uh, earlier than that but I guess not that I finally got back well, into the hobby not really back into it because I'd only had that starter set that I never did anything with, so then I finally got to the point where I committed to doing things, and I went and I bought a White Dwarf. So the first issue I bought then was this one, which it was uh, January of 2011, so it was shortly before that that I started getting back into the hobby, and I bought this magazine. And uh, at this point, you know, there wasn't anything non-Warhammer in here, or Lord of the Rings. You know, non-GW stuff didn't exist in the magazine. So, I continued to buy this every month when it came out. And at one point, I got a subscription. But my subscription was through a third party. I didn't subscribe directly from Games Workshop. I got a subscription through uh, an online retailer that sold... Games Workshop stuff at a discount. You know, you email them and they'd send you their price list and then you'd email what you want to buy and all that. And they had a subscription for White Dwarf, so I subscribed to them. But because they'd get the magazine and then they'd turn around and have to mail it out to their subscribers, I would get it a week after it came out in the store. So uh, the subscription went through a year. And I decided I wasn't going to renew it because I got tired of seeing the magazine in the store and happened to wait a week before I could get it and read it before I got mine. And it's just as well I didn't renew because I don't think that uh, online retailer continued to carry Games Workshop stuff long after that. So I went, I just started going back to the store to get it. In fact, it was around that time that they built the local Games Workshop here now that they had uh, finally put one close by. And the magazine had changed format again to this slightly smaller, you know, and a new glossy and cover and all fancy. So 
I was going to Games Workshop to get it every month, and uh, and then one day I went drove by there and sent the wife in to pick it up, and she came out and she had bought a subscription for me with those little uh, a little book of tickets, or little coupons, little tickets in there, and each month you could tear one out and you could redeem it for uh, a magazine. Well, it wasn't very long after that that they decided they're going to go to weekly. And I remember when I first heard the news that they were going to go to a weekly magazine, I was like, no, 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 I don't want that. I don't want that. I want my monthly. I don't want a weekly. I got to get, got to go down there every week to get a magazine because I'm kind of obsessive, compulsive on certain things. And when I start buying something or collecting something, I want to get everything or I don't want to miss an issue of something so I was like I'm gonna to have to go there every week and get this magazine which at first seemed like a real pain in the ass but the week first weekly issue came out and I went and bought it and of course they had this Warhammer visions that they you know that pretty much took this magazine and split it into these two so every week I'd go get the weekly magazine and every month I would get this one. I think I was the only one that was buying it. And I knew at the time why they were doing this weekly thing that you had to go to the store to get it because there wasn't a subscription for the for the weekly magazine. I knew that they wanted people to get into the store to get the magazine and then with the weekly releases look at all the new stuff and say hey I'm gonna buy this while I'm here. Because they figured people were gonna buy stuff other than just the magazine. Well, maybe weak-willed people like me, because it worked perfectly on me. I went to the Games Workshop store every week to get my magazine, and almost without fail, I bought something. There were, there were several times that I went and only bought the magazine, but that's only because my wife threatened me with violence if I didn't. But I spent an obscene amount of money at the Games Workshop store over... 2015 because I was going in there every week to get the magazine and oh look this is new I'm gonna get this or I'm gonna get that or I need a couple new paints or I need this or you know something new in a blister would come out and oh I'm just gonna get that one model you should see the stack of blisters behind the camera uh, maybe I'll show it off one of these days so every week went into games workshop and after a while, it kind of got to be a, a comfortable routine. I started going in there, you know, I got to know the, the, the local guy that ran the place, or runs the place, I should say. And it kind of got to be a, a, you know, a highlight of the week. I'm going to go to Games Workshop, get my magazine, see what's new, you know, might get something, might not. And then news came that the final issues were coming out, and it was going back to a monthly basis. So the last weekly issue, the last monthly issue of Warhammer Visions, you know, they'd upgraded that to this larger size. And I thought, oh no, I don't want it to go back to monthly. Now originally I didn't want it to go to weekly, but I got so used to it being on a, a weekly basis, I didn't want it to go back to monthly because I thought, well, what excuse am I going to have to come down here to Games Workshop every week? I had that excuse, well, I got to get my magazine to go by there each week. And now I'm going to be like, uh, I, I, I can't think of, can't think of an excuse to go there, you know, to, to give the wife, well, you know, I got to go to Games Workshop and get my magazine. Well, now it's like, uh, I'm going to Games Workshop. No, you're not. You know, so I didn't want it to go back to weekly, but you know, whatever. So I saw on the, uh, on the website, they were offering a special if you subscribe to the magazine. And I thought, well, I'll go ahead and do that. You know, whatever the special was. And then one of the big selling points, now, I'm sure you've heard this, was subscribers get the magazine on or before the day of release. And so that was a big selling point with me. I'm going to subscribe to the magazine. That way, I can get it, you know, a day or two before or on that day. And, you know, and then maybe I won't have to go to Games Workshop. I can save a little money. So the first monthly issue was September, a uh, couple, three months ago now. Yeah, so I started seeing the notices online on Facebook and different forums. People were getting their magazines. Hey, I got mine in the mail. I got mine in the mail. So I'm thinking, okay, you know, mine ought to be coming pretty soon. No. 
And then they come to find out there were quite a few people that weren't getting their magazine, and there were some kind of, uh, you know, some issues with the shipping there or something or other with that first issue. So I happened to be at the Games Workshop store that day the magazine came out, and I went ahead and, and bought one, you know, this new monthly one, because it came with that free mini, and I wanted to make sure I got one of those. So I went ahead and bought one at the store. That was a Saturday. Of course, Sunday there's no mail. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, another Sunday, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, my magazine finally showed up almost two weeks late. I thought, okay, well, it's their first monthly issue here in two and a half years, you know, and there's a little, you know, kinks to work out. I'm going to cut them a break. No big deal. So... Not long after that, it was approaching October, so I'm waiting for a new magazine. So release day comes around. No magazine in the mail. It didn't come early. It didn't come on release day. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, it came a week late. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm not happy about this, but, you know, maybe they're still working some things out. So the time, month goes by, it's time for the November issue. And lo and behold, this issue shows up on release day. It didn't show up early, but it actually showed up on release day. I went to Games Workshop, I think, that day for something to get a paint or something. I don't know. I came home, and the White Dwarf was in the mail. So I was like, cool. They've worked out the bugs, and I can get my magazine on time. So now it's December the 2nd that I'm filming this. And the December issue was released on November the 25th. November the 25th, the day after Thanksgiving. That was when they released the new issue. That was when Blood Bowl came out and uh, some other stuff there. Because I was in the store that day. It was the day after Thanksgiving. I had a day off from work. I went down there. And I saw the new December issue of White Dwarf. And I'm like, no, mine ought to be coming, you know, tomorrow. Well, it didn't come that Saturday. I thought, okay, well, there was a holiday. Maybe that threw their schedule off. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It's Friday. It's a week later now, and I still haven't got December's issue. I just checked the mail a short while ago. Nothing. So now I'm hoping it's going to come tomorrow. So I am fed up with this not coming on time. And I notice on their website now that it says, well, we endeavor to get it to you on or before release day, but the world's a big place, and we can't always do that. I find it hard to believe it takes them that long to get the magazine here. I've read where they ship the magazine out Friday, a week before it comes out. So if it comes out on Saturday, it comes out not the day before, but the Friday before that is when they mail it. So that means those magazines had to have been mailed uh, the 18th of November because people started getting them. That week of the you know the 21st, 22nd, I started seeing people online saying they got their December issue. But here it is, the second, two weeks after it's been mailed, and I still haven't got it. Now, I know they're 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 mailing them out of the East Coast, New York, but it doesn't take two weeks to get something from the East Coast to the West Coast where I'm at. I mean, it's just ridiculous. I bought stuff on eBay that was on the East Coast that just came regular mail. And it got here sooner than this. And so I, I'm, I'm fed up to the point where I'm not even... I, I decided I wasn't going to renew the subscription when it came time. Because it's just going to be easier for me to go to the store and get it each month. And now it's not showing up. I'm so annoyed. I'm almost to the point where I'm going to call them up and say, Cancel my subscription and refund me the rest of the money. Because you're really starting to annoy the crap out of me not being here on time. So that's my White Dwarf rant. Uh, I was looking forward every day this week. I come home from work almost like a little kid. Ooh, did my magazine come? Did my magazine come? Nope, nothing. And at this point, I've, I've, I've had it with waiting for this. I'm just... I think, I think I'm going to call them up next week and tell them, refund me whatever's left and uh, cancel it because I could have had the magazine that day it came out and I don't have it and I'm just really annoyed by it and I know that there's other people in the same boat I've seen comments online where people are like I haven't got my magazine yet 
So that's uh, something that uh, that's that's just bugging me. You know, I like Games Workshop. I think over the last year or so, they've made a lot of strides in improving their image and in pleasing their customers. And I've spent a lot of money with them, and they've got terrific products. They've got really great customer service from what I hear. I've never had to call them, but this whole white dwarf thing, they've dropped the ball, in my opinion. And, uh, yeah, I'm just not going to renew, and I think I'm going to cancel. So that's my rant. Thanks for sticking with me this whole time. And I rambled on so long, my screensaver came on. So here's a quick look at all the... clam packs that are stacked up behind the thing. There's quite a bit, and even some of these Horus Heresy ones. So, thanks for tuning in, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh my god, this video is 16 and a half minutes long almost. Whew. See you guys.